Today I have a brand review from a brand that is incredibly special to me and I'm really excited to share it with you. So the brand is called Inlight Beauty. They are based in the UK. If you found this video because you were just searching in YouTube for a review of this brand, welcome to my channel, L'Amore La Musique. I've been making videos around eco-beauty and alternative health and wellness since 2014. I also have a podcast that I started in late 2019. Currently, Beauty Heroes is the only stockist for In Light Beauty in the United States. My love for this brand was ignited when I discovered In Light through the Beauty Heroes discovery in November of 2018. Beauty Heroes and I did come up with a special gift with purchase for you in case you haven't discovered this brand yet and are looking for a reason to do so or if you already know and love the brand and are just looking for a special gift. I'll share details about that as we get into the video a little bit more but I just wanted to give a little bit of orientation. All right I want to start with my own personal connection to discovering this brand. Two products from Inlight showed up in the November 2018 Beauty Heroes box. The line softener and the superfood mask. Since the box was launching on November 1 I had been trying the products for, I don't know, like a week or two. I had actually filmed my review and I was pregnant at the time. I was due to give birth on November 26th. Out of the blue, on the evening of November 4th, uh, my water broke and I gave birth to my beautiful son, who is now 18 months old. I hadn't gotten around to posting my review before the baby came early, so I did go on to post the review, I think a month later, after I like somewhat got my bearings. The reason I bring all of this up is that I immediately was attracted to the products and had a really positive first impression the short amount of time that I had tried them. But it was really this immediate postpartum period that I used the products and they just endeared themselves to me. The face cleanser in particular and the line softener and the masks carried me through my immediate postpartum period. And if you know anything about pregnancy or postpartum skin or have had a child yourself, you know that your fluids get all out of whack after you have a baby. It's very, very common to have dr severe dryness of like the skin, the scalp. So I had extremely painfully dry, parched, dull skin. And I really credit these products to rehabilitating my skin postpartum, re-nourishing me, both on you know a topical level, but also I would say an alchemical or a psycho-spiritual level, which I'll get into a little bit. And I, you know, overall, I just found the experience of using these products profound healing. Obviously that healing extends so far beyond pregnancy and postpartum, but I just wanted to bring that up as my reference point and how the brand came to be so special to me. I am of course going to link in the description box below that November 2018 Beauty Heroes review that went up because I included quite a bit of information about the brand and the formulation process there because the Beauty Heroes ambassadors had actually been on the call on a call with Inlight and the founder of the brand who is an Italian MD and homeopath, I think. His name is Dr. Mariano Spiezia and he is now based, I believe in Cornwall in the UK and runs the brand with his wife and a small team. And just learning more about their true slow beauty approach to Inlight, very in line with the kinds of brands that I have been attracted to in Eco Beauty for a number of years. So Laurel would be a really comparable example in the slow beauty realm. I also think of brands that are just have oil as a foundation and oil as a carrier for botanical extracts and herbs. So in Fiore, Lepar, I mean, there's plenty of brands, but these are the kind of brands that I feel a really strong resonance with. So the entire line, with the exception of their hydrating floral tonic, which we'll get into, is anhydrous, meaning that there is no water in the products. They are all oil-based. And what makes them special is this 
patented biolipophilic matrix. This is included in all of the blends and it's a phytonutrient complex that mimics skin sebum. So it's basically creating a bioidentical match between the product and your skin. So it's going to just be that much more nourishing, nurturing, and the actives that are in the products are going to have a greater capacity to penetrate and kind of do their work essentially. There's so much depth to this brand. It really is this infusion of alchemical science into the formulation that jives with me a lot. So you, just to make a, a little bit of a broader commentary on how I've seen this play out in Eco Beauty, you know, there's a lot of talk about high vibe skincare or high vibrational skincare. Everything from creating products according to lunar cycles or harvesting particular ingredients a certain way or infusing some kind of ritual around the production practice of products, gem infusions. I mean, there's there's an infinite number of ways that the alchemy of beauty product production can go. And I will say just from my own perspective, not everybody that's doing it, basically not all high vibrational skincare or alchemical skincare is created equal. Everybody is going to resonate with something different based on kind of their own frequency pattern or where they're at. Something about the way that InLight describes it, and I guess I can just feel it in their products, really, really speaks to me personally. I just want to read a quick quote from the website. InLight's website, it says, Dr. Spiazia uses a series of unique techniques during each production stage, such as tuning sounds, alchemic symbols, colors, and words of intention to enhance the vibrational energy and vitality of each ingredient. You'll see this when we talk about the products. Each product has a different alchemical symbol on it. And I think I mentioned this in my November 2018 review of the Beauty Heroes box, but it reminds me of the Dr. Emoto, I think is his name, Japanese scientist, if I'm not mistaken, who did those famous water experiments that were included on what the bleep do we know, affixing words of love and positive emotion to water changed the molecular structure and appearance of water under a microscope compared to negative words of hate and anger. I have since heard that that scientist has been debunked. I don't even want to get into all of that. We're also just in a moment right now where anyone doing anything alternative and outside the mainstream scientific paradigm is being discredited. Discredited by who? I don't really know, but we're just going to bracket that. InLight is 100% certified organic by the Soil Association Cosmos. They are meticulous with their sourcing and the producers that they work with, um, very focused on sustainability. So this really through and through is a brand, in my opinion, of a lot of integrity and now we get to talk about what these products can actually do for your skin. They have a balm face cleanser, a product called the Floral Tonic, which is a toner. It's a very multi-purpose, but it is effectively, it's a toner. There's a face oil. There are two masks in the range, uh, the Superfood Mask and the Chocolate Mask, and then the Line Softener which is a very, very heavy duty balm that's great for aged skin or skin that's starting to show wrinkles and is looking for a little bit of a collagen boost. And then Beauty Heroes also carries something called their Deep Moisture Balm and the Foot Balm. I haven't tried either of those, but I've tried everything else. So let's talk about these two as a pair, the Face Cleanser and the Floral Tonic. I mean, the Face Cleanser is maybe my favorite product from the whole range, maybe tied with the chocolate mask, um, but this is definitely probably my favorite face cleanser of all time. Now, importantly, you have to like a balm or an oil cleanser that's going to leave quite a bit of residue behind. I know that rinsable cleansing oils and balms have become popular or a cleansing balm that transforms into a milk or a gel and rinses off clean. Those are quite popular now. I personally maintain a preference for and dedication to the traditional oil cleanse where you remove it with a warm cloth and then you have to either second cleanse or use a toner to remove the excess balm that's left on the skin after the cleanse. This is just my preference. I guess for some reason I find the rinsable ones over time to be slightly imbalancing to my skin. 
I guess I didn't really tell you my skin type, but I really have quite normal skin, sometimes a tendency towards dryness and dehydration. And if you want to hear a lot more about my own personal skincare philosophy, I have a whole podcast episode on that that I will link below for you. So I've tried so many different kinds of cleansing oils and balms, so many beautiful ones in Eco Beauty, but there truly is something special about the Inlight Face Cleanser. I have gone on to purchase it of my own accord. I will for Ever, forever 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 repurchase this product I really can't be without it it's something that I will always have in my rotation as I'm trying other products the scent is actually quite in my opinion really quite mild so it's a base of sesame jojoba olive and coconut oils it has a little bit of beeswax and shea butter some of the scent notes are lavender lemon peel it also has rose hip clove oh my god i love the inclusion of clove it gives it this beautiful groundedness cypress leaf oil evening primrose rosemary ginger root extract those are the highlights going through a jar of this is like rehabilitation for the skin in fact i often think that if people are dry skin prone that implementing a daily face massage during your cleanse with a very nourishing cleanser is the first step to rebalancing the skin because you can't in my opinion i'm not an esthetician i've just tried so many products and i have rehabilitated my chronically dry used to be chronically dry skin it, to me this is an integral foundational step in rebalancing the skin now the floral tonic was actually the products from Inlight that took me maybe the longest to come around to because it's a, a toner you don't really see toners packaged like this in Eco Beauty that often I mean it's a very large bottle and I mean this is just to show you really can't judge a product by its ingredient list because the ingredient list here would lead you to be perhaps not that excited about it it's just rose flower water Roman chamomile flower water lavender flower water agave SPP leaf extract and grapefruit seed extract. So very simple formula, but there's something about this when paired with the rest of the products. So removing residual balm with it, removing the masks with it, splashing it on your face before you put on an oil or a serum or on top of an oil, which is what I like to do. It, I mean, it's not a sprayable mist the way we're all used to, but it really complements the rest of the products. So I would consider this like best supporting actor product. It actually has what I consider to be like a skin softening effect I just find that it makes your skin really quite plump and and soft like baby soft I find that it tones down redness it's very calming and it just works so beautifully with the oil based products in the throughout the rest of the line okay why don't we talk about these masks next because I love both of them so much I am someone whose skin can get over treated very 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 quickly I am pretty normal skin type but a tendency towards sensitivity especially sensitivity over time perhaps sensitized from trying so many products because of what i do both the chocolate mask and the superfood mask i think are results driven masks that don't aggravate my skin at all i love both of them i would say if you made me pick one the chocolate mask gets a slight edge um but the superfood mask is also incredible so the superfood mask which is the one that was included as the sidekick in the beauty heroes box indications for this mask are skin that is lacking radiance perhaps needs a deep cleanse or what you could think of as like a skin detox also blemish or acne prone this can be helpful so the star ingredient in this mask is the spirulina the chlorophyll and the spirulina is what really aids in the cellular purging or detox I guess you could say like regeneration it also has barley grass and rose hip which have a repairing quality so if you want to categorize it this would be more the detox mask whereas the chocolate mask is more of the reparative regenerating nourishing and calming mask the thing I've always thought that's so unique about this one is the chocolate orange scent it makes it one of the most indulgent beauty products I have ever come across. This is my number one mask to wear 
when I'm taking a bath. So I did a whole video quite recently on how to take therapeutic or detox baths in my journey to having a bathing practice in my life. And because I take so many baths, it's like I'm not gonna mask every time I'm in the bath, but I like to do one to two masks a week. Really, this and the Five Vienna biocellulose sheet masks are the only ones that I will keep on my skin for a 30 minute bath. A lot of masks to have them on my skin for that length of time is just too active and too stimulating for my skin. They source their cocoa from a brand called Rococo, which is based in Granada, 100% organic. This also has argan oil, evening primrose, and baobab. So ideally you would do each mask once a week if you had both of them, or if you just have one of them, you would do it once a week which is what Dr. Spiezia recommends as just, you know, a maintenance part of an in-light skincare routine. I find once a week perfect and I find the results so profound from just this one single application. Uh, the closest thing I can liken them to the experience of using both of the masks is they kind of feel like a honey mask. So if you've ever tried the Laurel Honeyberry Enzyme Mask, it's less sticky than that, and I find it to be a little bit more pleasant. Uh, the Superfood Mask reminded me quite a bit of the Lil Fox Jungle Glow, but that Lil Fox Jungle Glow was too active for my skin. It had acids in it. The, it was a little too abrasive. Um, and the Superfood Mask is sort of the perfect amount of stimulating on my skin. I could also leave this one on in a bath and not have any problems. It smells very similar to Lil Fox Jungle Glow. So if you know that product, it's really kind of like refreshing, effervescent, amazing. A really easy way to get just a skin revive and nutrition to the skin. So incredible. I really can't say enough good things about both of them. So Inlight's face oil. I had gone through a bottle of this in early 2019, I think, and I thought it was really a very sweet product. I think this is a really good introduction to the brand. And if, for example, if you're new to face oils or you want to get a feel for the brand, trying their face oil, I think is a good place to start. And actually Dr. Spiezia really loves this product, mentions it on the website as like the first thing that he would recommend to someone new to his brand. It's described as a light and protective multi-purpose oil, multifunctional. It has jojoba, rose hip, evening primrose, and blue mallow, and it's scented with vanilla and rose. It the Vanilla in skincare I think is beautiful and I don't think it's used enough. Very few brands actually use vanilla in their skincare. So because of the oils in here, it's gonna give you, give your skin that natural environmental protection um, while also providing a lot of nourishment. So I consider this to be a very lightweight oil. It's a beautiful day oil, um, and you could layer it with some balms for an evening routine. Sweet is the word I used because I guess vanilla feels like a nice warm hug from someone who really loves you. It's very comforting. The topical effects are beautiful. I used it as my skin prep today under my makeup. It's very easy to use. And as I said, some oils are heavy and a little bit more cloying on the skin. And this one I just think would be so universally beautiful on kind of all skin types. Last, I do have a little bit remaining from my line softener. So this is now about two years old and it has stayed good. You can see I haven't quite finished my pot, but I've used it very regularly. So this is the most intense balm type of product I've ever used. And I have used some very heavy duty products over the years. It's a little, for me personally, it's too much to use all over the face. This is very much a targeted treatment. You need the smallest amount. It's a loose balm, which is something I really like. I've talked about my preference in balms. I think actually in the September 2019 Beauty Heroes review featuring that new balm launch from Honua, the Maheolani balm, which is a much more thick, occlusive, waxy type of balm, similar to some of Josh Rosebrook's balm products. I prefer these very loose, oily balms, like the La Par Beauty Balm is a lot like that. I think because I love oils and skincare so much, the waxy balms never seem to really work with my skin, but these oily balms do. They have actually demonstrated in clinical trials that volunteers used this for 28 days maybe longer, and it was shown to reduce wrinkle depth and appearance of wrinkles and 
they have before and after photos, there's been strong evidence about how this supports the skin to rehabilitate itself. So I would say that this is for mature skin types or someone that's really looking for a results driven um, skincare product. So why don't I tell you about this special gift with purchase promotion? I waited until the end of what I'm sure will be quite a long video. Starting on today, May 31st, while supplies last, if you spend $100 on InLight products on the Beauty Heroes website, you will get one of their chocolate masks for free. I got to pick the bonus item and I picked the chocolate mask. I actually went on the Beauty Heroes site because if you are already a Beauty Heroes member, you can save 15% off. So I put the face cleanser and the floral tonic into my cart took the 15% off and it's $100.30. So if you wanted to get the cleanser and the tonic with your 15% off, that would get you just slide you in to get this free chocolate mask, which would probably be what I would do. The face oil is 69, so you could do the face oil and the superfood mask. The superfood mask is 58, so that could be another really beautiful pairing because having both masks to rotate is just really, really good for the skin. Truly, you can't go wrong with any of the products. So it just depends if you're in need of like a cleanser toner duo. I mean, you could get both masks and get an extra chocolate mask. Depending on how conservative you are with your application, you would get five to six or maybe more uses from the mask. I actually think I got upwards of seven or eight because I really savored these products. You could even actually, as, as you scoop product out, which every balm product comes with a little scooper. If you scoop a smaller amount of product out and perhaps dilute it with the floral tonic, you could even get the product to last longer. The cleanser with regular use lasts a couple of months, probably, maybe more, like three months maybe. The toner lasts a really long time because it's a lot of product. The oil is really generous. You need about three to four drops per application. And the in light line softener is so, I mean, you can see I'm still using it two years later but I'm an odd case because I try so much stuff. So you just have to put in the code chocolate at your Beauty Heroes checkout and that will get this mask thrown into your cart. I just really think that they're a wonderful brand that deserves a lot of recognition and I want Beauty Heroes to start carrying more. So if more people are interested in it, perhaps they would consider starting to carry more of their products. I will include the details and the code and shopping links for everything down below in the description bar for your ease of shopping use if you're so inclined. I wanted to end with I with what I thought was just a really moving quote from InLight's website. To me this really encapsulates the brand and I think it's a really nice note to end on. Drawing on the stories and the spirit of observation of those who have preceded me, I have come to a deep understanding. For me, beauty is a manifestation of what is inside, outside, above, below. It is a comprehensive alchemy combining aesthetics and feelings, emotions and passion, perceptions and sensitivity, numbers and geometry. Alchemy also has its place in this wonderful game. Imagine taking multiple elements of nature and recombining them in a new way to produce something unique, which reacts to our bodies, our lips, skin, our senses, by aligning its molecular vibrations to a higher level, thus enabling our own body vibration to align to those of nature, the mother of us all. Harmony, beauty, nature, people become one. I hope you guys enjoyed learning more about this brand from me. Please leave me a comment and let me know what you think. I would love, love, love to hear if you end up trying this brand and what you think. If you have suggestions for other brand reviews you would like to see from me, I'm always open to suggestions. Thank you so much for everything you do to support my work here on L'Amour and on my podcast, Your Purpose is Beauty. Come say hi to me on Instagram at L'Amour La Musique. You can shoot me an email, L'Amour La Musique at gmail.com and I really look forward to connecting. I can't wait to see you guys in my next video soon. Bye.